Okay, let us understand about the demand or the revenue curve of a firm under monopolistic conditions. Monopolistic competition is also known as imperfect competition. So what happens in an imperfect competition is there are buyers, there are sellers. There may be one more or a lot of them but what happens is that some of these buyers or maybe some of these sellers are in a position to influence the quantity supplied okay or the price in such a manner that you know they control some part of the market so the price is not determined solely by the market forces of demand and supply so when these people are able to do this for the others what it happens is that they can increase their sales only by reducing prices so they can sell more only by reducing prices now let's look at this chart this gives the information about certain quantity of goods which are sold so let's say the quantity sold is 2 4 and 6 the average revenue when these quantities are sold is 20 16 and 12 The total revenue in this case is average revenue into quantity. So 20 into 2 gives you 40, 16 into 4 gives you 64, and 12 into 6 gives you 72. The marginal revenue also represented by change in total revenue upon change in quantity is calculated as under. I mean, let me give you an example. So let's say for this one, change in total revenue total revenue increase from 0 to 40 so change will be 40 minus 0 upon change in quantity quantity increase from 0 to 2 so 2 minus 0 20 sorry 40 divided by 2 or 20 <coughs> similarly you can compute the marginal revenue for the second and third one as well as given Now let us see one by one what is the impact of total revenue and I'll draw a small curve chart here and similarly I'll draw one more graph for average revenue and marginal revenue. <coughs> Sorry. Now when the quantity, this represents basically the quantity, when the quantity is 2, the total revenue is 40. When the quantity is 4, it's 64. So quantity is 4, 64 should be somewhere here. When quantity is 6, it's 72. 6, somewhere over here. Now if you connect this, it goes something like this. We've taken a small number of data, but if you increase the data, the total revenue curve will be something like this. Now, if you notice, what happens to the total revenue curve? We see that total revenue is increasing initially. So, there's a particular portion where it increases with the increase in the quantity of goods sold then somewhere around here it reaches its maximum point and after this point it actually starts falling why 
because what happens is that I have to increase the number of sale but to increase the number of commodities which are sold the firm keeps on reducing the prices and somewhere it takes toll on the total revenue which starts coming down okay now if you plot the average revenue and the marginal revenue curve what will happen is that let's start building them at quantity of 2 average revenue is 20 marginal revenue is 20 so 2 both of them are actually somewhere around here <coughs> okay at 4 average revenue is 16 4 16 at 6 average revenue is 12 6 average revenue is 12 so if you draw this you get the average revenue curve right let's <coughs> draw the marginal revenue curve when this is 4 marginal revenue is 12 so it should be somewhere around here when this is 6 it is 4 6 4 so if you draw marginal revenue curve comes like this so what we notice is that the marginal revenue curve lies on the MR is left to average revenue in an imperfect competition. Right? <coughs>